A gentleman came to our store during the pandemic, um, and, and he, he works here for Kafaro. And he said, you know, hey, you know, ever thought about expanding? I was like, oh, no, definitely not right now. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong. We are a uh, local game store here. We sell card games, board games, puzzles, collectibles, different things. The, uh, we also have a Warhammer 2, which is a miniatures game where you could build and paint those things. We've been around for about nine years now. We have two locations, one here in the Eastwood Mall, and then we also have another in Sharon, Pennsylvania. We've uh, held different kinds of tournaments there, um, done a bunch of different things over the years, and we finally decided to make a new store over here in Niles. A gentleman came to our store during the pandemic um, and and he, he works here for Kafaro and he said, you know, hey, you know, ever thought about expanding? I was like, oh, no, definitely not right now. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, uh, hey, and uh, no. <laughs> some time went on and things, you know, things were OK. And we're like, uh, we we're ready to, to, to go to the next level. Just, you know, just, we kind of got complacent. Everything was, you know, everything was on autopilot. We're ready to move forward. And we're like, you know what? That does sound like a good idea. You know, just uh, um, the foot traffic, not as much work to do to get it up off the ground. And just, you know, and then that's kind of where we went. Pre-pandemic, we were just a regular old store. We had events, you know, and sometimes we had large events too, where there's 50, 60, 70 people. And um, it's obviously when the pandemic came, that's not something you could do. Uh, we we closed down for a month and a half, two two months. I can't remember the exact, six about say about six weeks. So we were closed the doors for that long. Um, and then we, we slowly started opening back. We had curbside pickup. We, we did a lot of online sales. Basically that month and a half we were closed, we kind of shifted everything to our website and just tried to do everything digitally just to, just to make sure that we had enough money to, you know, that, to make sure we had enough money to go to, to move on from there. But yeah, as, as time went on, more and more people, they, they, they kind of gravitated towards the, the collectible market as opposed to you know not spending their money. So it's it was it was really interesting kind of shift to, to from from where we were to where we are now. So the reason why you should shop here is because the money comes back to the community, right? So you know I pay I pay property tax. You know I there's you know there's I pay I sales tax. There's so many all that money goes back to to you. So you know if you go spend it online you know, at a store in California, you know, what does that do for you? You know you just get the good and you move on. So it, there's a little bit added added function there, but but also you know the, the biggest question I get when people come in is you know where do I start right? So you can't go on on Amazon.com and type you know where do I start and then nobody tells you you need this card you need this deck you need this book. So it's you know that's that's kind of what we provide as they say it is we guide you to where what you need what you you know to, to where you need to go to have fun. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.